गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स करेंसी डेली एनालिसिस पे आप सभी का स्वागत है आज है ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एक्विक लुक एट डिफरेंट कर डॉलर इंडेक्स इज नाउ एट हंड्रेड एंड टू पॉइंट फाइव एट सम सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉन्सोलिडेशन इज एक्सपेक्टेड बिटवीन हंड्रेड एंड वन एट्टी नाइनटी ऑन द लोअर साइड एंड हंड्रेड एंड थ्री फोर्टी सिक्सटी ऑन द हायर साइड डॉलर रुपी करेंटली एट एटी टू पॉइंट वन फाइव yesterday some rejection candles from that days high as well as previous two days high that being the case we may expect some sort of selling in this instrument any uptick may be sold for the day gbp dollar bounce back currently at 1.2318 that being the case after the consolidation between 1.2170 on the lower side and uh, 1.2320 once it breaks above 1.2320 to 30 we may expect the immediate resistance that is the 1.2450 gbp inr now at 101.45 it is currently at the resistance zone of 101.40 to 101.80 once it breaks above the next resistance level will be 102.61 euro dollar currently at 1.0816 it's in the range of 1.040 on the higher side and 1.0700 on the lower side the currency pair has to break out of this particular range for further queues on break above the higher side we may see 1.104050 on the next resistance level on break below the low the immediate support may be the center band of the bollinger band that is at 1.067080 euro iner currently at 89.08 it's again within the consolidation zone of 89.95 on the higher side and 88.3040 on the lower side it has to break out of this range for further queues on break above on the higher side the immediate resistance phase may be 90.50 on the lower side if it breaks down then center band that is center band of the bollinger band that is 88.00 maybe uh, the next support level dollar yen now at 130.66 now the immediate support is the low of the pin bar dated 24th of march that is 129.60 on break below 129.60 we may expect a Sharp fall towards 127.50 to 128.00. Yen INR consolidating in between 62.1015 on the lower side and 63.3040 on the higher side. Consolidation let it to break out of this consolidation zone. Once it breaks above this zone on the higher side, immediate resistance is expected to be 64. On the lower side, if it breaks down, then the center wind that is 61.50 may be the immediate support level dollar candy it's basically on the consolidation zone of 1.3630 on the lower side and 1.3810 on the higher side this zone is crucial this is because mainly because these two dated candles 24th march and 23rd march the highs of 24th march and the lows of 23rd march are very crucial on break down below the low we may expect a sharp fall towards 1.3500 aussie dollar is consolidating on the higher side 673040 and on the lower side 6600 so after this consolidation we need to see whether it is breaking out on the higher side or on the lower side possibility at the moment is that the rsi daily rsi is doing the range shift that being the case what it indicates it indicates is that it's trying to consolidate and there are probabilities that it may move higher in such a case this tweezer top dated 22nd march and 23rd march this high becomes very crucial on break above this high the aussie dollar pair may move little bit on the higher side cnh is currently at 
after the bow, uh, break down below 13th March low, immediately the next day it bounced back within the 13th March range. That being the case, further consolidation is expected and we need to wait for the breakout of the range dated 13th of March. Below the low of 23rd March, we may expect 6.75 and 6.73 as the immediate target. UK oil is little bit of bullish on break above 77, currently at 77.41, immediate resistance is 17 and 79.50. US 10 year treasury, yesterday we saw some good bounce back from the low, from the low of 3 of 3.382, your 3.55. That being the case, some sort of price may take some more time to remain within this range. Which particular range? On the lower side 3.33 and on the higher side 3.70. Consolidate in this zone. Thereafter, we need to see in which direction it is moving. As usual, market participants are um, means waiting for softening of the US 10-year treasury as well as US 2-year treasury. US 2 year treasury now at 3.918. The difference between the two, that is 10 year and your 2 year, is now 40 basis points, which was earlier more than 100 basis points. So gradually it is reducing. We need to wait for the day when 2 year treasury will fall below 10 year treasury. So currency daily analysis is as of now this much only. Hope that you like this presentation. Wishing you all a great day ahead.